and welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Daryl Breen. Merry Christmas to you all and Joyeux Noël, Frohe Weihnachten and Feliz Navidad to all our friends in Europe. We've taken back control of Christmas. And <laughs> spent £350 million on a special episode featuring outtakes, unseen material and favourite bits. Hope you enjoy it and Merry Brexmas. <laughs> Meanwhile, what's going on here? <laughs> You're not a King Charles, neither are you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's British Carl saying, what's that, Lassie? <laughs> the Queen is stuck down a mine shaft. <laughs> 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 the dog is going, don't do it there, Charles, I haven't brought any bags with me. <laughs> 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 What are we going to see less of in China? Chinglish. Chinglish, it's called, yes. Mistranslated signs uh, are very common in China. Yeah? Uh, and the Chinese government is clamping down. These are the kind of signs we're talking about. Um, please don't be edible. Uh, <laughs> which to a stand and take photographs. Exterior girdle food. Uh, <laughs> they, or this one. Uh, this. <laughs> There's actually intended to be a park of internet of different races coming together, kind of an ex oh. an ex type thing. <laughs> and then it, it got translated as racist park. <laughs> My particular favourite is somebody looked up the translation of this one and then wrote in the sign, could not connect a translator service. <laughs> Right. And they said, oh, welcome to Could Not Connect to Translator Service for all your hair care needs. In, uh, uh, in, in China, this show is called Mega Bus Man Make Ha Ha News. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Calories Transport, your answer is 49 years. What is the question? Is it how long does it take to get home on the night bus now that Uber's been suspended? <laughs> <laughs> is it, if you book a two week holiday flying Ryanair, <laughs> How long should you take off work just to make sure you get back? <laughs> Is it uh, at what age will I finally be beach body ready? <laughs> <laughs> Is it at what point in the Hundred Years' War did the generals say, "Come on, lads, nearly halfway through"? <laughs> 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 Do they know the actual correct answer? Yes. Please? When yes. will Brexit happen? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? What's the world record for staying under a desk that I'm going to break now? <laughs> <laughs> I think he means it. Yeah. He does. He All I want now is for Hugh's face to just go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling insight into your facial expressions, yeah. by the way. Um, <laughs> in, in all seriousness, could you, could you, could you come back out again? Would that be, uh... but then I won't get the record, Dara. You, okay, you won't get the record. So, okay. I'll look right. ridiculous. There isn't enough paper, Milton. You will struggle. Yeah. <laughs> For continuity, we really need you to come back out again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try, Dara. We just need a Milton whisper. <laughs> you uh, said if I wore green, we'd celebrate St Patrick's Day. <laughs> And everyone Next would dress the same. <laughs> <laughs> but he get out from under <laughs> the goddamn desk. <laughs> this is ten minutes of the Christmas special. <laughs> Dara wears gold shoes, everyone. <laughs> is the answer how long are we yeah. going to be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. No, it's okay. no, 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 I actually I quite like, I just like to state the way that the no-nos penguin just, <laughs> just if you let him go even for a second. No. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. This it may is be a tiny stump but there. This may be a personal work. question. Yes? Are these your closest friends? <laughs> <laughs> these are my special Christmas friends. Uh, uh, and there he goes uh, again. He's yeah. good. OK, uh, so we do our annual Christmas quiz. What were the first ever Christmas crackers called? Were they called rolled up Christmas explosive paper things? Yeah. Yes, yeah, not far off, actually. Christmas bangers. Very close. They were called bangs of expectation. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few of them. <laughs> We've all. We've all kind of wow. followed by the clean up of remorse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the towel wipe off. <laughs> oh, it'll do. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Bangs of expectation. They were launched by a London sweet maker called Tom Smith in 1860. Tom Smith died because two people pulled him in half. Do you know that? <laughs> Uh, Jingle Bells was the first song to be played where? At my christening. <laughs> wasn't even a Christmas birthday, was it? No, it wasn't even Christmas. It was my dad's favourite song. <laughs> <laughs> what year were we talking about? We were talking about 1965. Oh, was it? One. December 1965. Uh, Jingle yeah, Bells was, was the first written song to be played in 1965. No, no, no one said that. No one said that. Where was Jingle Bells? <laughs> Jingle Bells was the first song to be played where? In 1965. It oh. happened to happen in 1965, but the where is important. Okay, so Jingle Bells, okay. written in 1965, played for the first time where? No, no, not the Jingle Bells! <laughs> the... Oh my god, the comments. It was... It's not the first time Jingle Bells was played, sure. but it was the first song of any kind to be played. Radio somewhere. 1. Not Radio 1. Santa Radio Claus's two. Workshop. <laughs> <laughs> No. Radio 1 was 67. Oh, Jesus, it's that. not Radio 1. It's not... <laughs> it's not... It's not... It's not... I love it with that vein box on your forehead. BBC. We're trying so hard. What do I do? What do I talk about? Things you talk Stars. about. Stars. Irish. No, no. Robot Wars. It was the first song to be played in the first episode. <laughs> Robot Wars, 1965. <laughs> no, no, no. Was it the first song ever to be played on a megabus? No. <laughs> No, was it the no, first no, song to be played in Ireland? You think we wasted 1965 in Ireland to sing any songs. The like, Ireland had no songs until 1965 <laughs> where we sang Jingle Bells. And then, like, then it all gushed forth. Then it was all, yeah. all those rebel songs we thought about yeah. singing, but never felt put a tune to them. Uh, <laughs> Was it in orbit or something like that? It, it, uh, what was that? In orbit. That's absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> in space. Okay. <laughs> my very first Christmas tree I ever had to buy, it was in a Budgeons, and they had them all out on the pavement. So I picked the best one. There's one good one. I got that. And I took it into Budgeons and I had to go through all the aisles. And then I was nearly at the till and someone came up to me and said, you are not supposed to bring them into Budgeons. You've got to leave them out there and you take the barcode from the top of the tree and then you take... This is really wrong, what you've done. So I took it all the way out again. I got the barcode off, went in, paid for it, came all the way out and the tree had gone. <laughs> and I looked back in the Budgeons and I could see the top of my tree just bobbing. <laughs> through the aisles. Sound like Jaws? Yeah, exactly <laughs> like Jaws, actually. And then I had to follow the pine needles, and I found the guy, and it was a man with his two kids, I'd say about five and seven, you know, the age where Christmas is everything. Yeah. And I was like, sir, that's my Christmas tree. And then he looked in his trolley, and he went, it's not your Christmas tree. Oh, oh I suppose that's your lasagna, is it, as well, <laughs> in my trolley? I was like, no. <laughs> that's not my lasagna. <laughs> That's my Christmas tree. I already paid for it. He went, oh, oh, yeah? I guess you paid for this lasagna as well. <laughs> I said, sir, the lasagna is neither... I don't know why you're sidetracking us every time. <laughs> the lasagna is neither here nor there. You're meant to take the barcode off the tree, and then you take it to the till, and then you pay for it there. And he picked up his lasagna, and he looked at the back of it and went, just checking you didn't steal the barcode off my lasagna as well. <laughs> and then the same member of staff came over and said to him, well, you are supposed to actually take the barcode up, and he's right, he bought the tree and it's not yours. So he handed me the tree. Here's a, here's a tip for you all. If someone is handing you a Christmas tree, don't look their children in the eyes... <laughs> ..as you're receiving the tree. Cos I saw they're all sad, and I was like, ah, uh, fuck them. And then I... <laughs> and then I stole his lasagna. <laughs> This round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask you to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features the President of the United States. Oh, my God, who is this? Angler, I know I said drop him whenever, but I'm literally popping out to get a Christmas present for Kim Jong-un. He's going to love it. It goes bang and it has his name on it, so we have to be super quick. So smile for the camera. Hashtag statesman. <laughs> OK, this is the fastest press conference in history. Uh, my microphone doesn't seem to be working, Donald. No. OK. <laughs> I ordered a pepperoni. You did not deliver a pepperoni. Why would you deliver me a Mexican hut? <laughs> I, do not like, I do not like Mexico. I do not like chili. I do not like the little thing you do with the beef. <laughs> okay. Vladimir, 
Is that you listening in again? Okay. Oh, nasty, nasty, nasty rain. Melania, stop the rain. I have to get ready for my speech. I think it's a practice. Okay. Now is the winter of my distant content. That was a brilliant line. I just thought of that. I just wrote that. It's a beautiful line. I have a dream. That's a beautiful line. So difficult to choose when you're so good at speechifying. Okay. I am the best president ever. I'm better than Roosevelt. I am better than Kennedy. I am better than Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, kids. What's good news for wine lovers this festive season? It's available in three flavours. Red, white and the lame one. <laughs> Rosé? Yeah. Oh, you monster. Uh... <laughs> I don't think much of the rosé in the dentists, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a bad time to give it to you as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to drink. It's not a time to get me yeah. drunk. Uh... <laughs> Look, it's got everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, on. <laughs> the, uh, no, this apparently is what, what, what all homes should be having right now, which is oh, a, an advent calendar Ooh. of wine. Oh, oh wow. that is one of the bleakest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I think that if you say, kids, 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 it's the fits, uh, where's the first? Yeah, oh, sure. kids, uh, happy Christmas. What, what Santa got for you today? Really? Some <laughs> red! <rest. laughs> Oh, my God! Yeah. yeah, so every day you get a... Anyone some more love? I mean, there are Go alcoholics all across this country going, what, it's a chocolate calendar, and then just hiding that in their lounge room. Yeah, for oh, me. Oh, sorry, Mummy's drunk three days ahead again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there'll be nothing worse sorry, than this... re refilling the tiny bottles the day before. <laughs> Look how oh, small the bottle is. I'm going is. to keep Christmas alive. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let the magic die. <laughs> Would you like to taste some of the wine? Oh, 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 there's a tiny sparkly one. Oh. For the ladies. There you are. Aldi, yes, Aldi are doing this. Uh, some Sauvignon Blanc for yourself? Yeah, why not? Why not? Because that's for okay. The drive more. Oh. I want to see what the most Christmas one is. Where's the 24th gone? Where's the 24th gone? Is there a, oh, is there there it is. a blue oh, vine? Ho, 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 Have they got one that's just chewing gum so you can get in the car without suspicion? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is a... Oh, clever. Oh, look at clever. that. What they awesome. should do is it should have a little breathalyzer on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that screw-top champagne? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's gone right out the bottle. It's really classy. Oh, wow, that is... It's really... <laughs> OK, I'm happy to put this down. So, anyway, yes. I imagine Dara's going to be very trigger-happy on the buzzer. Come on, later. Yes. <laughs> Hate it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's always that throwing bottles over. Yeah. Here's a scene I like to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to come to the mic next, bitches. <laughs> According to scientists, what does having a square head signify? It's, it's more sex drive than people with round heads. Yes. Isn't it? But didn't they say that square headed people are more likely to be unfaithful? Unfaithful to be more, yeah, higher sex drive. Do you know who I feel sorry for? Bert. Ernie must have been getting it all. <laughs> <laughs> the beaker. Poor old Beaker. Oh, no chance, mate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been out with some square headed men. You just got to roll the dice, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the programme Eggheads? <laughs> no, no, they're the sexy. No. <laughs> it's a programme that could never appear on. Absolute dweebos. <laughs> Wayne Mooney's going to love it, isn't he? He's going to be like, it's not my fault, it's me, Ed. <laughs> I don't mean, understand head. this, cos he's got one of the rounds. <laughs> he's got a really good <laughs> one. He just want to do the accent. <laughs> I've got a very angular head. I don't know whether it's square or not. It's so square. My, ni my nickname at school, amongst many others, one of them was Snowplow. Because <laughs> <laughs> he loves yeah, cocaine. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the rest of the people liked it. But yeah. you, oh, you, were, no. you were a machine for the cocaine, up. right? Just, yeah. <laughs> Comes absolutely coat up his nut again. Yeah. Morning registration. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I got an idea for a film. 
I've read the script. Uh, maybe you'd like to read it. Uh, this is Wonder Work Class, Dennis. <laughs> I've never taken cocaine, and a friend of mine described me as wasting my nose. Because he's <laughs> a cocaine thing? guzzler. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know quite how this got onto cocaine. Anyway, what they... Uh, you what know how it thought? did, yeah, Snow Plow. What they worked out was, it because of the shape of my chin and my cheekbones, if you pushed me through, along the playground on a snowy day, the chin would scoop up the snow and it would all funnel... <laughs> The you said they, they worked this out, just purely theoretically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the, the snow would go up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's the story you're telling yes. us. <laughs> These programmes about the news are fantastic. <laughs> Uh, right, how are presents delivered to children in the Catalonian region of Spain? Is it a saint of some sort? It's not or a saint, no. Is it a, it's a small Catalan man? It's not. Uh, <laughs> this is Cagatillo. He is a Christmas log, literally a Christmas log. Well, he brings uh, the oh, presents. Yeah. And what he brings presents, what they do is they sit him down, it's going to be difficult to demonstrate this, yeah. and the Catalan children uh, tap him. They tap him. They hit him with a stick. They hit him with a little stick. They hit him with a little stick. And then oh, they set fire And to they him. sing the song of, oh, <laughs> poo log, poo nougat, hazelnuts and cheese curd. If you don't poo well, I'll hit you with a stick. Poo log. That's what they sing. <laughs> oh. Well, this is Spain. I'm really going to miss them. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then what they do is then they pull back the blanket and there are presents and uh, toys. Oh, wow. poo. Well, you meant like iPads and toys like that. It shut out. Like, <laughs> why? How would a log of wood shit out iPads? How does it shit out? This is at least slightly more likely you than you said presents. You didn't specify little shoes. As if you've got enough to worry about just shitting it out, he's got to build electronics in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've got anyway. a bang up idea for Apple's next product launch. <laughs> just Tim Cook comes out, he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Because obviously for continuity, in case we don't include the shitting tree. I'll tell you what, tree. why would you not include the shitting tree? I have no idea why you never want this. I think this should be on. I don't. I don't know why this this special is not on. Like the entire families will gather around. It's on <laughs> at ten past three after the Queen does her bit, we arrive out with the shitting tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I seem to have received for Christmas, and that is uh, an urgent need for a raging piss. <laughs> <laughs> then, then we shall probably move on, right? <laughs> <You've> been... <laughs> He has been waiting since September. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what has been developed by scientists, possibly the same ones, uh, to make people more confident at work? Jager bombs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a this is a coolness test. Yep. Isn't it? But the thing that really worries me about this is it's been developed by scientists. <laughs> right? For whom coolness is whether or not you can maybe talk to a girl. <laughs> in a position to complain about how uncool scientists are. Scientists are much more compared to us. Yeah. We are the coolest. <laughs> what, 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 what? Hugh, how many kids you got? Two. Hugh's had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, what of scientists? <laughs> but not yeah. the same ones. Yeah, not yeah, the yeah. same three. Take a day off. <laughs> <laughs> a crash in space travel. Meanwhile, what scientists invented to carry out You want bite? to do that again with any purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I love that Theresa May's doing so badly that this is a chance for, like, stars from the past to get back in the limelight again. Like, I'm just waiting for to hear what Samantha Brex... Uh, fuck, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Samantha Mumba, but I changed her name to Samantha Brexit. <laughs> Isn't that Boris Johnson's drag name? <laughs> Nish, please don't be funny about my mistake. That means it'll be in the show. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the first subject is... Unlikely things to hear on a history documentary. <laughs> that was early. Uh, <laughs> really He's got a lot of faith, hasn't he? <laughs> in other news, according to scientists, what does having a square head signify? Massive sex drive, yes. <laughs> Oh, an answer. Massive he he, did, he just did an answer. <laughs> According to scientists, what does having a square head signify? I think it's massive sex drive. It is. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Massive sex massive drive. Massive sex drive, yeah, massive. Uh, Normally large sex drive. 
um, it's a different, <laughs> a different answer to this one. What initial plan for Corbyn's arrival did organisers scrap? You're right, a massive sex drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad news because I answered that question early on. That lets me know my joke is getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, can you sit up as if you haven't just done the, ho the show and you're in the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, we won't kiss on the lips, but okay. just imagine it like this. Right? Imagine Christmas it kiss! Christmas kiss! Not, just, warm, just warm me up a little. So, you know. hi, Hugh. <laughs> great to see you. Hi. And then, hi. And then, so, you go to kiss me on that side and I go to give me... We think we're going to do a double kiss. No, hang on, hang on. No, I'm going to kiss you on that, that oh, side. I'm sure the original thing to... Uh... <laughs> I actually went to kiss you on the lips, and oh, you okay. resisted to you. Oh, OK. Cool. No, it, no, Hugh, it's ruined. It's like <laughs> all my dates. This is the worst Christmas ever. Uh, what piece of history, by the way, has Britain made during this, uh, during this tournament? What? what piece of history has Britain made during this Could tournament? Could you not mumble when you're asking us questions, please? <laughs> How do you expect us to answer questions if you're going to mumble? Uh... <laughs> What piece of history did Britain make during this tournament? Uh, <laughs> piece of history? history. That, what did, an odd well, way we of it is unusual, that. isn't it? But that's the way what we talk. What piece of history what did Britain of make? History? Yes. History. Yes, we made, uh, we made. Do them... you mean in what way did Britain make history? Is that perhaps? Yeah, really? Because it didn't really. Go. In fact, it isn't. It honestly, it's going. How how well have domestic players performed at this tournament? <laughs> oh my Very God! Well, so they've well. made history. They've made history. <laughs> Now, ladies, you know what time it is. Time to pour yourself a glass of wine, light some candles, cos next up it's... Darrow Brian's Go 8-Bit. <laughs> that is... That is unlikely, Ed. Unlikely. Correct. Uh, <laughs> remaining in Europe, what are the French facing a shortage of? Croissants. Indeed, croissants. Why are they facing a shortage of croissants? They've They're... run out of butter. They have? Why have they run out of butter? Because of Last Tango in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then I shall ask the most obvious question to end in. How can a Scandinavian child win a marzipan pig at Christmas? By killing someone and it being turned into a... Scandi noir detective drama. No, no, that's not how they it. Uh, you're in some pain and discomfort now at this stage, I'd imagine, so this is I'm not going to happen. I'm currently imagining uh, just, just, just like pissing presents out my dick. <laughs> 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 All right, someone give me the stick. Shall I tell them? They, they, they win the marzipan pig. Uh, in fact, I will show you the marzipan pig. This is the marzipan pig in question. Although, obviously, it's different for... We don't know where it is. Hello, yeah. there he is. Oh, looks like Michael Gove. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by finding a single almond. The single almond in a I've bowl this. of rice pudding. Have you done this? So it's this big sort of rice pudding-y dessert that comes in, and there's one almond in it. And one of these contains an almond. No, they don't I all contain almonds. I haven't eaten sugar since July, so this oh, could be it, really fun. Mush it fun. around. Jeez, I'm not going to put you into a shock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if what happens when someone finds it? Uh, just say it, uh, rather than storing it in the almond. Have you found no, the almond? No, you haven't. I've got it in my own mouth. To... <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Jamal, you have found the almonds. You liar and cheat. Well, I found an almond. Hang on, what? I found an almond. Ah, That's shit, not we've only got one more than I've I'm happy to be there. I assumed it was a whole almond. Yeah, it you know, is. I kind of thought that as well, but it's well, not then... been fully explained to me. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a whole almond. So, is there a whole almond in one of these? There was a bullet in mine. Is that no, the other? Not <laughs> <laughs> My hands are going in. Um, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> That's actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> also, can you tell them uh, send a mop down? I pissed myself about two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Glenn. Glenn, you, really you have the found the almond and the, stop feeling your food. Uh, <laughs> you found the almond, therefore, by all the great Norwegian traditions, we present you with this marzipan pig. Glenn Moore, thank you very much. Well done. 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 Well yeah, I'll be chauffeuring Eamon all through December. That's right, I'm driving homes for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. It is plum pudding. And from my voice, you can probably work out whose plums are you. <laughs> Happy Christmas.
Christmas, you bunch of Muppets! <laughs> Danny Dyer stars in a Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's soaked in brandy, let's get it lit and we can pretend she fell asleep watching telly. <laughs> <laughs> the wise men were actually late for the birth because wise man Dara saw the star and wouldn't stop banging on about space for three and a half hours. <laughs> I think it's best for everyone this Christmas if we take Chris Rea's car keys away. <laughs> No, Grandad, I'm absolutely fascinated to listen to you talking about the Islamic faith. You're so alive to its subtleties and nuances. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, that's an enormous pile under the tree. When did you have it removed, Grandad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're under the mistletoe. I think you know what that means. I've locked us outside again, haven't I? <laughs> I no, I love it when your parents come for Christmas. I just wish we couldn't hear them through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe there's this many needles under the tree already. We're really gonna have to talk to Grandma about her heroin habit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Abba's greatest hits. Oh no. It's a video of assassinations by PLO leader Mahmoud Abbas. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Sharon, then, right, OK. Two words, OK, yeah, you're going to do the whole thing. OK, that... Right, it's the human centipede. Grandma, stop! <laughs> Why, sir, it's the first day of the DFS sofa sale! <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. He pressed his lips to hers and slid his tongue in. That's not how you're supposed to do it, shouted the other paramedic. <laughs> he kissed her breast, tenderly. Oh, she said, get your own KFC bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Darcy is the most eligible bachelor in the county, said Mrs Bennet, and he's hung like a fucking cart horn. <laughs> Everything was in place. The bubble bath had been poured. The chocolate was there. The scented candles had been lit. This was going to be the best wank ever. <laughs> He put the chocolates down beside her. Silence. And then at last she spoke. Unexpected item in the baggage. <laughs> she had never had a menage a trois before, let alone with two famous brothers. They drove her wild all night with their cries of, to me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> Sophie looked absolutely beautiful in her flowing wedding dress. Admittedly, it was an odd choice to wear on a first date. <laughs> oh, Mr Darcy, you're so becoming. Really? He replied, cos I think it's you that will be coming. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you shit in this bin. <laughs> Fulfill the criteria. <laughs> well, I, think, I think that's one for the yeah. Christmas special, isn't it? I think it, it is. I yeah. think it's a, a, a festive one there, Ed. Right? <laughs> Happy Christmas at the end. <laughs> when they left the bar, she saw him in a new light. Daylight. And it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good night, goodbye, Merry Christmas, all from us, Mark the Week. Have a wonderful Christmas. Goodbye, have a good time. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
as the Happy Penguin Falls. Oh, oh for Armin. You found the Armin? Don't take fucking... Fuck you. <laughs>